The dust and scratches effect is found under the noise and grain category. And this isn't actually for generating dust and scratches, it's for attempting to reduce and remove dust and scratches. Now I have this old clip that's a film transfer to digital and it definitely has some noise going on. And there's other things about it that are just natural degradation, but we can find some frames that have these dust specs that show up. If I bring dust and scratches out onto this effect, we only really have two controls, radius and threshold. If I turn this off and back on, you can see that everything's getting a little bit more muddy. If I increase the radius a little bit, it doesn't take much. I can pretty much get it to a point where that spec went away. But look what happened to the rest of my image. This is kind of like the median effect. It's sampling pixels in the frame and kind of averaging them out based on this radius, which in turn really muddies up the entire image. It's not a great solution. I could go to the next control, which is threshold, and dial it up a little bit to try and get some of those details back, but we're getting a lot of grain showing up now. Those specs are starting to come back. So this particular example might not be the greatest one for this effect, but the reality is there's always going to be a trade-off in the amount of detail of your footage with how far up you crank that radius. So your scene would have to be extremely simple with not a lot of detail and very fine at dust and scratches for this effect to really make a usable difference. The only other control we have is operate on alpha channel. So if you're working on a clip that has an alpha channel or you've created some transparency in that image, then you can enable that checkbox and it will account for that alpha channel. But that's everything you need to know about dust and scratches. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.